Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do to get CarViewer set up for your NR2003 is, of course, downloading it first. This website right here, I found, is probably the best website to get it from. Of course, it's a little slow. And also, all links in this video uh, will be in the description below. So anyways, scroll down here and you'll see uh, two options, CarViewer 1.4 and CarViewer Megapack. These are both the same uh, in terms of the program itself, I believe. However, CarViewer Megapack just gives you some uh, CarViewer files uh, right off the bat for some uh, older mods for NR2003. However, I just like to stick with 1.4, download the Megapack if you want to use some of the CarViewer files there. Of course, so after you download it, uh, you're going to want to download some CarViewer files. Now, up here I have some CarViewer files for pretty popular mods, one being for the Manx 2017 CarViewer X files. Now, the Mex 2017 car viewer uh, files, I believe, is the same uh, for the Mex 2018 mod. I believe Ford and the camera use the same model, so it will work with the 2018 mod. And for 2018, you have the Chevrolet Camaro just by itself car viewer file. Of course, if you want the uh, NASCAR Xfinity Series uh, 7 to 2017 car viewer files, you can download them right here. And if you want the 2012 car viewer, uh, cup series car viewer files you can go right here of course you know you can search online to see what other car viewer files you can get um, not, of course not all mods have them unfortunately but uh, most of them should so anyways once you've downloaded uh, car viewer and uh, your car viewer files uh, open it up so once you open it up you're going to be greeted with the car I'm not sure if it's necessarily going to be white um, I'm going to agree with the car here. Left click, you can uh, move it around a little. It's going to be a little odd moving it around, but you can get used to it. Right click is to you know, do this. That's all the current controls I know for now. Um, you can go to make over here. However, this will only change the make of the default cars in game. So will not change the make for any mods that you have uh, loaded onto this uh, program. So first thing you want to do when you're going to load your skin for a particular type of mod is to go to file and uh, open DirectX Mesh. When you do that, find, uh, find the car viewer files that you downloaded. For example, I'm making a skin for the uh, Max 2018 Camaro, so I'm going to go into here. And you have a couple of options here. Uh, Camaro X, Camaro SSX, uh, Camaro SS Transparent, and etc. Uh, SS stands for Super Speedway, which is a uh, configuration option for the Max 2018 mod. However, I'm just doing a normal car and I want to have transparent. Uh, what this does is basically makes the windows transparent. If you just got the normal one, the windows would not be transparent except for one, which is I believe the driver's side window. So I'm going to load up this one, give the program a little bit of time, and there you go. So now that you've uh, loaded this up, uh, we need to get your skin on here. And to do that, uh, if you go to file and go to open texture and load it that way, it will not work. Your car will be completely white. I don't have a reason for this, but there is a, uh, another way to get your skin on here. So first off, go to where your skin is located, which is right here. Um, save it to a .bmp file, and then get it to over here. And you're gonna see that in here, there's a car.bmp file. Rename this to something else, or delete it entirely if you don't care about it. And then copy your car in here. Then what you're gonna wanna do is rename it to card.bmp. Once you've done that, Go into the program, go to file, and go to refresh current texture. Give it some time, and there you go. You have your skin on here. Now, of course, if you want to um, do this process slightly more quickly, what you could do is, well, for example, have like your PSD file in here, whatever skin you're working on, and then just um, when you save it, or save as, just call it card.bmp and overwrite the current file, and just go to file and refresh current texture. And that is how you use CarViewer for NR2003. Thank you for watching.